my dear students here in this case you have taken one ball a ball falls on the ground and rebounds back to the same height then what is the impulse of ball on the ground that is the question actually here you all know you all know impulse is nothing but change in momentum that is mv minus mu okay but as the velocities are same here as the velocities are same here also you will take mv only but you know velocity direction has been changed one is coming downwards one is moving upwards so you will take plus here and that means impulse is equal to 2mv and that means velocity is equal to 2m into root 2gh enough this is the easiest way of solving the problem without even vectors and ijk headache let us see what is going to get here now so this is going to be how much here there is nothing but you will take 2 into uh, 0 0.15 0 0.15 into root 2 into 10 into 10 here because g is 10 height is also 10 here height is 10 given in the problem if you solve all this then you will be getting 4.2 kg meters per second a simplest shortcut method whenever there is a rebounds case is this one hope you have enjoyed my dear friends, this is a latest question asked in 2024 NEET. I have a simple shortcut whenever you get these type of problems. The force of 10 newtons is applied on the two blocks. He is asking us to find out the contact force here. The force exerted on the second mass. That is said to be the contact force. For that, the shortcut method I have got. See, force F into mass on which contact force is applied divided by the net mass. This simple formula within fraction of seconds will get the answer. What is that the force you can uh, apply here? 10. And force on which the contact force between the two bodies is applied is 3. Divided by net mass is going to be 5. So 5 ones, 5 twos, 2, 3, 6 newtons. E is going to be your answer. Hope you have enjoyed this problem. Students, this is a three block system previously asked. This type of shortcut you will not get throughout the internet. You can just check it out what I am going to say here. So he is asking us to find out what is the contact force between A and B. Okay, so I have got a shortcut formula for that. What is the shortcut formula? The contact force between A and B is nothing but the net force acting on the three blocks into masses on which contact force is acting. That means B and C are the masses which uh, are moving forward because of this contact force divided by the net mass. Net mass means all the three blocks. It's very simple now. So how much force is acting on the three blocks? Net force is 14. B and C are nothing but 2 and 1. This is 2 and this is 1. So it's going to be 3 here. 2 plus 1 is 3. And the net mass is 4 plus 2 plus 1. Which is nothing but 7. 7, 1, 7, 2 is 14. So 3, 2 are 6 newtons is going to be your answer. That's a shortcut formula. Thank you very much. My dear students, in this typical case of a problem in which 45 newtons and 9 newtons are acting in the both opposite direction, he is asking us to find out the contact force between 3 kg and 4 kg. That is F he is asking us to find out. The simple thing is you want to find out the net acceleration here. Acceleration is equal to difference in the two forces that is a net force by total mass which is going to be 45 minus 9 by 7 which is nothing but 36 by 7. You will be getting acceleration as 4 meter per second square then this 4 kg block separately you take free body diagram this is the best shortcut in India so you can just take the difference that is the resultant force resultant force is nothing but uh, this is dominating so f minus 9 here so which is equal to ma which is equal to f minus 9 here so m f is equal to m into a plus 9 m is nothing but 4 kg a is 4 plus 9 is 9 4 4 just 16 plus 9 is going to be 25 newtons is going to be our shortcut method thank you very much okay my dear students see these type of problems are asked for four years continuously 2021 2008 2006 and in 2000 this i am talking about neat so four times this model has been continuously repeated this is the concept of impulse so to uh, i would like to discuss the concept of impulse here you should know what is the meaning of impulse you all know that impulse is nothing but a very large force acting in a very short interval of time example is hitting a bat with a ball okay or hitting a ball with a bat or hitting a nail with a hammer so how much time the contact will be there with the hammer and the nail only fraction of seconds how much time there is a contact of ball and a bat fraction of seconds so very large force acting in a very short interval of time is nothing but impulse here so you can just write impulse can be taken as 
impulse is equal to mass into acceleration into time here. So impulse, mass, acceleration is taken as m, v minus u by t into t. So t t gets cancelled. Finally, there is a second formula for impulse that is change in momentum. Impulse, it is a product of force and time and also impulse is also defined as it's a change in momentum. That's it. M V minus M U. You can see the first 2008 concept. In 2008, if you observe, a ball directly falls normal to the wall and ref uh, reflects back. While moving towards the wall, let the velocity is V. While returning back, let the velocity is minus V after hitting the wall. Therefore, impulse can be taken as m into v minus of minus m into v because it is coming in the opposite direction. So therefore, impulse will become 2mv. This is the first problem which was asked in 2008. In 2006, let us imagine that the ball is making 30 degrees with the wall. With the wall, then what happens? So what is the component? For example, if this is uh, hitting the wall with velocity v, that means you have to consider in this direction the component of velocity which is v sin 30. And it is striking the wall and coming outside with a component that is called as V sin 30. I mean, coming uh, afterwards in the opposite direction like this. Okay. In the opposite direction it is coming. Therefore, the component of the velocity along the normal, if you consider, it is going to become minus V sin 30. Okay. So, therefore, impulse is going to become MV sin 30 minus of minus MV sin 30. So, therefore, impulse is going to become 2 mv sin 30. So, if you apply this formula, you get the problem which was asked in 2006. Let us imagine in 2000 also, there is a model asked here. Now, the ball makes certain angle 60 degrees with the normal, not with the wall. If it is making with the normal 60 degrees, then if the velocity of the ball is v and it is coming outwards with velocity minus v, therefore, you have to consider the component which is called as cos theta component, which is normal to the wall. Because now, the ball is making angle 60 degrees with the normal, not with the wall. If it is making with the wall, we will get sin theta component. If it is making angle with the normal, we will get cos theta component. Therefore, this can be considered as v cos 60 and in the opposite direction, minus v cos 60 okay so therefore impulse is considered as mv cos 60 minus of minus mv cos 60 so therefore you will get a formula that is impulse is going to become 2 mv cos 60 so these three cases are completed now the fourth case which was asked in 2021 a ball is dropped a ball is thrown towards the ground with and it strikes the ground with a velocity which is taken as uh, v is equal to root of 2 gh according to kinematics it strikes the uh, it strikes the ground with a velocity root of 2 gh when it rebounds back it rebounds back with a velocity minus root of 2 gh which is going to be the velocity after hitting the ground so therefore here the velocity is going to become impulse is going to become square root of again here it is going to become 2 mv Impulse is going to become 2 mv and v when it is striking the ground it is root 2 gh when it is rebouncing back it is going to be minus root 2 gh therefore uh, here also we can write uh, minus 2 mv uh, that is nothing but uh, 2 mv v means you can write 2 gh okay root 2 gh because velocity is considered as root 2 gh when you drop and it rebounds back then also it is taken as root 2 gh because it is dropped from the same height and it is rebouncing to the same height again so then you have to apply 2mv where here v is taken as initially also taken as v finally it is taken as minus v so it is going to be root 2gh so how many formulas how many answers we got you can just see here now so first thing is uh, we got uh, impulse is equal to 2mv in 2008 here second time in the gate 2006 we got impulse is equal to 2mv sin 30 in the third that is 2000 we get impulse is equal to 2mv cos 60 in the 2021 we get impulse is equal to 2m root of 2gh Hope you have understood this continuously asked concept. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.